This is one of the coolest motherboards I've ever seen. It's the XX70 E Tai Chi and it's really, really nice. But it's a high-end motherboard, which is quite expensive. So that begs the question, who should get a higher motherboard like the Tai Chi? If you're a value-oriented buyer, a higher motherboard is probably not for you. Unless you need the features, there's really no point to getting a high-end motherboard because, well, a high-end motherboard doesn't actually give you that much more in terms of performance, unless you're overclocking intensely. In terms of FPS per dollar or performance per dollar, motherboards aren't that worth it of an upgrade. But there's still plenty of reasons to why someone would want a high-end motherboard. One is if you're doing heavy intense overclocking. If you're doing heavy intense overclocking, like uh, with big hot CPUs, you want a high-end motherboard because you need better power delivery, better VRMs to cool that power delivery so that when you are overclocking and running massive amounts of voltages through your CPU, your motherboard stays cool, keeps the power delivery consistent and stable, which means your overclock will be more successful. Another example of people who should get a high-end motherboard are people who need the connectivity options that a high-end motherboard offers. Because of the X670E chipset that the Tai Chi has, it has a lot of PCIe lanes and a lot of connectivity options, which means it has a lot of ports inside and outside that allow you to connect all the devices, accessories, and expansion that you need depending on what you are doing. If you need a lot of M.2 SSD drives, this has three to M.2 PCIe Gen 4 and one blazing fast M.2 PCIe Gen 5 slot in the top right here. That's on top of two 16x slots, so you can not just put a GPU, but also put another expansion card. And if you're worried about your PCIe Gen 5 SSD getting too hot, this motherboard comes with like a SSD cooling fan that you can mount on your SSD to ensure that your SSD does not overheat too much. But it's not just connectivity for SSDs, it's also connectivity for things like fans. If you're running a water cooling system or AIO that has a lot of fans and a lot of pumps and a lot of leads to plug in, you won't have any concerns if you're using a high-end motherboard like this because this has like eight or nine fan ports. And also there's connectivity for external devices as well. This has a total of nine USB ports with the slowest USB port being a Type A 3.2 Gen 1, which is basically USB 3 speeds. But it has nine and two of those ports are USB 4, which are essentially Thunderbolt speeds. They just can't be called Thunderbolt because it's not Intel. But beyond USB, it also has 2.5 gigahertz ethernet killer LAN networking. It also has Wi-Fi 6. If you are a power user, a tinkerer, or someone who is often troubleshooting things, this motherboard also has a lot of tools for that. It's got BIOS flashbacks, so you can easily update the BIOS without a CPU. You can clear CMOS just in case a overclock went bad or something went bad. You can also use the power and reset switch built into the motherboard for easy test benching, easy overclocking, and just easy access. That plus the fact that it has a error code indicator that tells you what is wrong, so you can easily troubleshoot things. For power users and enthusiasts, Yes, that is a must-have. Another big advantage to a high-end motherboard is the design and build quality. It looks absolutely phenomenal, this X670E Tai Chi in black and gold with the little details and intricate design. I really, really think it is a wonderful looking motherboard that looks properly premium. Another advantage, as I said, is the build quality. And this is very important these days because GPUs are very, very heavy and GPU sag is a real concern. If you don't know what GPU sag is, it's essentially when a GPU is really heavy and after a couple of months or years of usage, the GPU starts to kind of sag downwards, which bends the GPU's PCIe slot and possibly also bends the PCIe slot on the motherboard. If your motherboard is weak and the PCIe slot is not properly reinforced and attached, then that might actually cause issues with connectivity because the GPU sag might cause the GPU to disconnect or might actually cause the PCIe slot to stop working altogether. GPU sag is less of a concern on a high-end motherboard because it's got a lot of structural reinforcement. The Tai Chi has a solid metal backplate and a solid metal front plate. This adds a lot of structural rigidity to the motherboard, which means means that it can hold up heavy GPUs better. That plus the fact that the PCIe slot has metal reinforcements on it and it's attached very securely. So if GPU is heavy, it actually can support it better than a lower end motherboard. Though of course, I still recommend you use some sort of GPU support bracket so it just doesn't sag in the first place. So in conclusion then, who should buy a high end motherboard like the X670E Tai Chi? Well, for one, it's the people that need the features a high end motherboard has. Another group of users that should consider getting a high end motherboard is people who need need a lot of expansion and connectivity, like me, who is a video editor. For me, if I were to build a video editing PC today, I'll get a high-end motherboard hands down because not only do I need the stability a high-end motherboard gives with expensive, powerful CPUs, but I also need the massive amounts of expansion. I can put eight SATA drives on here just for mass storage. I can then put three more M.2 SSDs, two of which are Gen 4s. The fact that it also has a lot of USB ports is very important to me as well because I have a lot of tools that use USB. Got a keyboard, got a mouse, got a USB hub to plug into. I've got a desk lamp, I've got a webcam I want to plug in, I've got 
got a mic, I've got USB drives, USB SSDs, I've got uh, things like a colorimeter I need to plug into. That plus the fact that it supports a USB 3.2 Gen 2 front panel I.O. basically gives you all the connectivity that you might need. Having so many USB ports is very important to me. And with that, thank you guys so much for watching. What do you think about the X670 E Tai Chi? Would you get a high-end motherboard like this or are you a value-oriented buyer and all you care about is FPS per dollar?